Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for all joining me. If you're obviously watching, I do really appreciate it. I thought why not show you some of the new products that I've bought this month and maybe do it like a regular monthly thing. Um, just to give you an idea of what, you know, what's the latest craze at the minute, what I've like seen online, what I think of it. And obviously you'd get the first impressions. So let me show you some of the items I've bought. I got the NYX Marshmallow Primer. This is meant to be um, the bee's knees um, when it comes to primers and obviously um, it smells like marshmallows. So obviously I will give that a go for you guys. I've also bought the new, the nude Huda Beauty Palette. This uh, I obviously ordered online. I can't remember exactly where I got it from. Beauty Bay or somewhere like that. I'm not entirely sure, but I'll be showing you the colors on those. I've gone and bought myself the Lash Paradise L'Oreal Perfect Mascara. This is meant to make your eyes really, really nice. So, and I'm a sucker for mascaras, so I thought, why not? I needed a new brow pencil or, you know, pomade, I wasn't sure. So I picked up this NYX. I've got the Tame and Frame, and this is in the shade Chocolate. Why not? The next product that I've got is a Max Factor Face Finity All Day Flawn Flawless? Flawless Flexi Hold. This is a three-in-one primer, concealer, and foundation. Obviously, we're not allowed to try any testers on at the moment, so I've just randomly picked up one and it said golden on it and I thought, I think it will match, you know? All I can say is if it doesn't match, I apologise, but I had to just work with what I had. Then I also picked up this lovely shade um, in, it's called Abu Dhabi in 09. Um, this is the NYX Matte Lip Cream. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. There you go. So I picked this one up and um, I do see a lot of um, viewers, uh, viewers, I see a lot of reviews on this or these lip creams. I thought that's the kind of colour that I would go for so why not give it a whirl. So before I go ahead and show you what I think of the marshmallow primer, let me just cleanse my face. So I'm going in, sorry, with this one which everyone is raving about. It's almost a dupe for the Pixie Glow Tonic. So this is, um, this one I picked up from Audi, I think, and they're really reasonable, what, like four or five pound, I think, something like that. So I did pick up a couple because they do go like gold dust. So I'm just gonna cleanse my skin before we start. Right, next I'm gonna be using the Arbon Night Moisturizing Cream. I really love this stuff, I love the smell, it goes on my skin so dewy, and I have obviously used this before. It's getting a bit low, but it is amazing. So a little bit goes a long way, so I'm just gonna pop this all over my face. I have still got some um, mascara left on from earlier, so just ignore that. For the moment, it's not a lot. That is all my skin prepped. I am gonna go in with one of my new favorite um, products, and you would have seen it if you watched my Iconic London review. This is their Prep Set and Glow. Look at that shine, it's just amazing. So just give it a shake before, and then just spray it on your face. I like to get a bit crazy with it, but it just gives you that underlying glow issue underneath your makeup. But also, I like to, um, obviously it says prep, set, and glow, so you can use it before your makeup, after your foundation, just give you that really dewy, glowy finish, which I love. So now that it's setting in, already you can see on my skin how like glowy and dewy it looks. Let's go in with this NYX Marshmallow Primer. So, I've not used it yet, but it actually feels, and it's almost like got the same texture as marshmallow. So let's pop a little bit on. Oh my God, it smells unreal. It feels really, really silky. It just feels really nice on my skin. So I would actually go out and use this when I'm not having like a makeup day. I really like that. Obviously, I won't be able to tell how um, it actually works with makeup until I put foundation on top of it, which obviously I will do for you guys. But so far, first impressions are very, very good. So next up, I'm going in with the Max Factor. What was it? No, yeah. Face Finity All Day Flawless. So as I say, I'm not sure entirely if this is my shade. Oh, you get a lot out of one part. So let me just... Some on there. I don't know if this is a bit too light. I know my lighting's quite bright at the moment. 
that has given me a really nice let me see if i can turn that line down just a tad just to show you guys what it actually looks like if i just come a little bit closer that has sat on my skin really really nicely as i said a little bit goes a long way um i didn't use loads and loads of product which is obviously a good thing but yeah so far it has sat on top of that um primer really nicely and if you know me or you watch my channels you know i don't really use a lot of primers i just i don't know like i just don't use them like i don't really have a lot of pores and stuff so maybe i'm quite lucky in that respect but yeah maybe on a night out i'll use it but on a day-to-day -day basis i don't really use it so but i will be able to obviously tell you what i think about it next i'm gonna go in with my iconic london palette and um, again if you would have seen this video you would have known that i love i fell in love with it and i'm just gonna pop some of their bronzer on this bronzer is so bloody gorgeous i find that it, it frames your face amazing and it's not one of those cakey like dirty muddy colors if you know what i mean like some bronzers you can put on and they just come out like a really dirty shade and you feel like you just need to wash this isn't one of those this is a really nice glow and i feel like it contours your face so nicely and it's really pigmented i think these are about 45 pound but i got a deal at the time it was like if you spend over 50 or 60 pound you got it for free so why wouldn't i so as you can tell on that foundation it has sat really really nicely and contoured me in all the right places next i'm gonna go in with their pink blusher again i just always like to use the same brush for when i'm putting on me just rosy up those cheeks i'm loving it loving it loving it i'm loving it like this right next um i'm gonna go back in with the iconic prep set and go because i find um sometimes powders on me goes a little bit dry so i just want to go ahead and freshen up my face i can't wait for summer as well because i think that'll be beautiful especially when you're not wearing any makeup or you're on holiday i think it'll just really set off don't hit yourself on the face though just see how nice that has sat on my skin a big thumbs up straight away next i'm going to be showing you that brow tame and frame nyx product so i'm just going to grab a little brush right so let's go ahead and see how this rolls out so it is a very very smooth product to work with it's going on so easily like that has taken me what a minute if that now normally i'd go in with a spoolie as you know if i use a pencil and like brush it up but i'm gonna let that set for a moment just in case and um, because this is more of a dewy a product i don't want to smudge anything so i'm going to let it set first so i'm just going to keep it like that but quite simple quite quick i know some people like to spend hours on their brows i really don't that has gone on really quickly as i said i just picked up a little angled brush just like something like that and i've just popped it on nothing too heavy obviously the more product you go on the obviously darker you can make it out but that is very very nice and it is set really nicely on my brows next up i'm going to be showing you the huda beauty palette um i will be doing the i'll do some swatches for you but i will actually do my um, my eyes off camera just because they take the longest so it comes like this it comes with a nice little picture i don't know what i'm going to do with it but it looks like this and then when you open it up i've not even seen the colors so i'm going to look with you see they are my type don't know why but the glitters have come a bit crazy but these are my type of colors like look at the nudes how pretty they are and i am a sucker for glitter so this palette i will be working with so i'm just going to swatch a few colors and they're very very like they're very me they're like pinky purpley tones oh i'll definitely be using these but obviously once i've done them i will show you what the end result comes out like so stay tuned if you want to see how that comes out next i'm going to be showing you a revolution um eyeliner pen i want i think you call it it's not a pencil and it comes with two different edges or two different sides so you've got a thicker one and a longer one so obviously i like mine to be quite precise so i'll be using the smaller end but i guess if you want that big heavy glam night look really thick then obviously go for the thicker one but i needed a new one anyway and um, so i thought give it a go revolution haven't done bad with products and um, i love all their stuff so 
why not? So yeah, so let me get um go ahead. Um, I'm gonna do my eyes as I said off camera, and then I'll let you know um what I think of it. So there is my finished eye look. Um, I have popped on, obviously the colours from Huda and um, Beauty, which are like to die for i will do maybe more of an in-depth tutorial and um, maybe on my next um couple of videos or whatever just showing you them palettes and how i did this look but it was amazing but what i found the best was that, that mascara if i just show you a little bit if i just come a little bit closer if you want to focus like can you see the lift i've got and they are all my natural lashes like it's so bloody good i tell you what though the old um Revolution eye pens, uh, eyeliner thingy jig. It's it does a job. It does do the job. I have found better applications. Um, not gonna lie. I found this was a little bit not streaky. It goes on really nice, but you have to go over it a few times to get that real flawless kind of look. Like it does say what it does. Like it is an eyeliner. It has worked, but not my favourite. I will be honest not really next i'm going to be using an old product but this is just a mac spice lip liner just because i'm going to be using the abu dhabi lipstick or lip lip cream so i'm just going to go and overline my lips and then apply that now i've overlined my lips i'm just going to go ahead and use that nyx lip cream okay so this feels like butter on your lips it feels so moisturised. I'm surprised because I know it says a soft matte lip cream, but when you say matte, sometimes they go quite caking, quite dry. I'm really loving that shade as well. But it looks really cute. I think this look is a whole vibe for me. I feel like, I don't know, but I love all my nudes and everything. So yeah, so guys, what I'm going to do now, again off camera, um, just to show you how to glam up a little bit more, I have got some lashes that I'm going to apply. And then, yeah, I'll give you my finished look. Ta da So I've just added my lashes. Guys, honestly, this lash glue that comes with it dries so quickly compared to some others that I haven't, like, that I've got. It's ridiculous. But anyway, so I've applied my lashes um, and that's all I've done, really. Um, I will go in again and prep it, set it, whatever it's bloody called, with the Iconic Glow. I'm not shy with that product, as you can tell. That really smells... So that really smells fresh. My skin looks flawless. I think that marshmallow primer is amazing. Obviously, I wouldn't be able to tell how well it lasts um, until we go on like nights out, or even if I use it tomorrow day, I can let you give you an update of how well it sits throughout the day. But as a vibe, as a look, I'm absolutely loving this. And um, I do feel a little bit like Hagrid with this hair, not gonna lie. I did have it in braids, so obviously it's gone a bit wavy. But yeah, this is my final look on my March, um, my March favourites, should I say? Um, or my, my March, what would you call it? March haul. So every month, as I say, I'm going to try and do a makeup haul. And um, whether it's a couple of products or five products as today or whatever. And just keep you guys in the loop of what I'm seeing online and what I think is good and which is not. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. It does mean the world. It means everything. I am trying to obviously get to reach my goal of a thousand subscribers. So if you could help me that would be amazing and yeah if you do want to see um as i said before if you want to see what the iconic products are like then go back to two videos ago two videos ago and um you also or three videos ago either way it's one of my recent videos so go and check that out um because their products are absolutely amazing and i can't highly recommend them enough so yeah guys on that note i will see you in my next video